Okay, so welcome to today's lesson and today we will speak about followers, you know, if you need 1 million follower or 1000 follower and it's called HDN, you know, highly targeted niche. So HDN. Before we start, basically what we do is that we are buying expensive courses and we make summary, you know, when we speak about Tai Lopez, how to turn social media into the business. So check uh, lesson number one, lesson number two, where we speak about niche and industry. And today, you know, we will speak about followers. So basically, if somebody asks me if I want 1 million followers or 10,000 followers, I will definitely say like more, you know, 1 million followers. But if somebody asks me, do you want 1 million random followers or 10,000 highly targeted followers? then the answer is a little bit different. You know, I will probably go for targeted, targeted followers. And why? Because if you know who follow you, you can much better monetize it, you know, than if you have like just random followers. So for example, if you know that your followers are like nerds, IT guys, you can uh, make videos and post about like computers or maybe some IT courses and you know that you can sell them IT courses. And then it's also, you know, how you can monetize it because uh, most of the accounts have like zero monetization. They make like zero dollars per follower. You know, but if somebody is trying to monetize channel, the rate is between 0.01 dollars per follower to even one dollar per one follower, you know, a year. So it's also a question if you need uh, like one million followers. For example, if you have like 10,000 followers, you know, and you make 0.25 dollars per follower per month, so you make like two hundred five thousand dollars, you know, a month. But let's say you have ten thousand followers and you make the the topper, you know, the above. You make one dollar, so it's ten thousand dollars a month. If you have one million followers and you do that just zero point zero one, you know, you make also just ten thousand dollars. So you can make the same amount of money, and it depends how targeted your niche is. So be careful on it. So we will speak about it in the next lesson, basically how to grow Instagram or how to grow YouTube or Snapchat, you know, so subscribe and you will see the lessons and be careful how you grow those accounts because basically on Instagram or Twitter, you can be happy that you grow, but it can be like bots, you know, and what is basically opposite of highly targeted niche are robots and robots are not buying, you know, so you are somehow happy that you have a big account, but robots are not buying your, you know, supplements or some courses or just, you know, let's say buy your new fitness program. So definitely not from bots, so be careful on it. So now I will explain you like what I think it's important when you grow your accounts. And it will be that you want to people that have somehow like 70% in common. You know, you will always have some random people and it's okay, you know, but you want to know your audience and they should have 70% in common. And basically what does it mean is that they have common age, uh, they have common location or they have common interest. And the fancy word for all this is basically demographics, you know. They should have common demographics. So for each example, you know, if you, I speak about finances and especially on YouTube and when I check my demographics, so those are like just guys, 100% are guys, no women, and between age like 23 and 45 because on social media you usually have younger generation and if you want like older one you should go on or Facebook or emails also like when you have younger generation your post should be more dynamic you know cuts like gaming PewDiePie you know cut 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 
for older generation you should speak slower you know explain it more more details and you know remember the movies the old movies were super slow it's not like now uh, then it's it's age then it's location you know it's a very important thing because basically for example we have like you can have location just like new york city you know like 20 million people or los angeles you know 12 million people and it's highly targeted location or you can be even from small city you know like 50,000 people and you know followers you can have every fifth person in the city like follow you and then you are quite big boss because you can go to restaurant and say hey give me free meal and i will make a post about it because look at my you know people if you if you show them you have like 50,000 followers but just you know like 200 people are from the city or you you show them like 50,000 followers and like you know 45,000 is from your city oh it's it's powerful it's better than 1 million completely random followers it's like 15,000 highly targeted in location already you can make good money so then um, on interest basically interest is important because you know what your people are buying, what your followers are buying. We already mentioned if those are IT guys or those are like, you know, sporty persons or people that like to travel. So you can offer some, you know, bundles, some for travel, you know, from travel agencies. It's a, it's a, this is like when you have highly targeted niche accounts. So for example, there are like nine gig uh, Instagram account with like 20 million followers. And they are mostly from young age, like till 25. Location is Asia and interest. I like goofy things and such, you know, so they grow it. But you don't need it. You can make really good money in like highly targeted small niche. So now big questions. How many followers do you need? So how many followers? How many followers? To make money, followers. To make first money, some minimal goal. And you know, let's start with Instagram. I will walk through all the social media and set up you some minimum goals where you can start to make money. So we said that Instagram is easier to grow. And basically the point is that there will be like, you know, a couple of thousand here, there, but you can grow just one social media and then point out people to your other social media. So you grow one big and then point out the people to other accounts with like some contest or some smart questions. Uh, we will show you in next lesson how to do it, how to, you know, point out people, for example, from Instagram to your Twitter or to your YouTube. So your target goal for the Instagram should be between 5,000 to 10,000 followers. You know, it should be easily done and uh, set the goals realistically, you know, don't set up them too high. So this is like some minimum for Instagram, Instagram account you should be aiming for. And somebody maybe will say, okay, but I already have like 5,000, 10,000, but are they HTN followers? You know, this is the question. Are they HTN, high targeted niche followers? That's the point of this lesson. So the next social media will be YouTube. So next is YouTube. It's the, hard, the hardest to grow media and that's why we set up it just on like 1000 followers. You know, it's where monetization start and when you can start to make some money. Uh, we will say specifically, you know, how to grow the YouTube channel in the next lessons. So subscribe and check it. The next one will be Snapchat. Snapchat. Uh, you cannot see their followers, but you can see their like views on the post. So you should target the same like Instagram, you know, between five to 10,000 posts view. So the next one and the easiest one is Facebook. It's it's called like mo le least valuable like uh, in, in uh, like uh, followers, but you should aim easily to like ten thousand you know followers on Facebook if you have like Facebook group or Facebook page. 
then it will be like podcast. Uh, there you should uh, aim for like 5,000 uh, downloads. Uh, downloads. Okay, where is this? Snapchat is like, like views. Let's say. Um, then uh, we will uh, speak about like live broadcasting and you should aim to around like 100 to 500 people watching your videos. 500 people, you know, when they watch it live. Don't be scared, I saw many big YouTubers, they had like 50, 100 people watching their video and they have like 50,000 followers, 100,000 followers. So, and also email, and not the last, you should aim of about like 5,000 highly targeted niche, you know, subscribers, the legal, legally subscribed people, 5,000, you can make decent money from it. You should aim around somewhere around, we already speak about 0.25 cents, you know, per follower per month to start to make revenue. So this should be your goal. And so don't be scared, just set up these goals and basically when you achieve them, just double it, you know. So if I have now like 200 followers on YouTube, I want to double it next month, so let's see. So I already told you, try to aim 25 cents, you know, per follower per month. So you don't make like 10 grand, but you will make like 20, 50, you know, 100 dollars a month. You start to, you start to be. Now we will speak about common mistakes, you know, when you start to grow your social media. I don't want to take so much time. Mistakes. Okay. Mistakes when you grow your social media. So I will take red. Uh, first one will be focus on follower count, you know. So this is first mistake. Focus on follower count, you know. Count. You know, this is mistake. You know, it's like boosting your ego, you know, and number of followers or boosting your ego doesn't make you money. So focus on earnings instead, you know, I will put it here, focus on earnings, this is where is earnings, okay, and the third mistake, too broad following, you know, too broad following, okay, this is the lesson of today, too broad following is a mistake, so you don't want like, you know, 100 followers from Asia, 100 followers from Germany, 100 followers from like IT guys, 100 followers from like fitness industry. Because basically what we said before, if you have 10,000 followers from one city, you can start to kind of di dictate, you know, the terms you can ask, okay, I will share your post, like, you know, 10,000 people will see it. I will bring you 100 clients, you know, to your restaurant on, on your, you know, opening or some special offer. So focus on HTN and I will show you some like graphical what will happen. You know, if you have HTN followers, HTN followers and you have like, you know, focused followers. So basically your posts will make you money. You know, because most of the people want to see it. If you have like random, let's say followers, so broadly targeted niche, let's call it. So basically your posts are missing, you know, the money. You miss the money, here you maybe make a little bit, the next post will miss, don't convert, you know. Also, uh, maybe somebody subscribed you before because he liked that you speak about books. You know, and then you will send him some, you know, let's say women in bikini, you know, because now you want to sell bikini and the people will be, yeah, but why you are showing me pictures of the girls in bikini and try to sell me a swimsuit? 
when I want to read the books, you know, and basically uh, they will unsubscribe, unfollow, or also the algorithms of Facebook, Instagram, YouTube will see that your audience is not converting, so the algorithm won't share you so much. So this is also like the other side of broadly targeted niche. So be careful on it. Better is highly targeted niche with like expensive product. So basically you can make it with little bit people, you can make a lot. Write your best guess, your demographics of highly targeted niche and what's in comments also like what 70% of your audience want to see, you know, write it in comments, think about it, you know, to complete this lesson and this is it. So see you in the next one.